This is the vaulted groin ceiling. What I want to do is delete this so I can show you how I made it. So if I pick it and delete, I want to go to the floor plan. I want to say that I want to draft on grid D. So I'm drafting on here in the south view. And what I'm doing is under component, I'm going to create the model in place that is a ceiling. I might need a few extra lines in here. So I'm going to do an extrusion. Let me just make sure I'm going from... I want to be sure I can find the midpoint. So what I'm going to do is draw my, my arc. Let's say something like that. Then I'll get rid of those extra lines that I had drafted. I'll make my offset of about two inches. Clean up my sketch here. So, oops. I want to uh, grab that sketch geometry and what I'm going to do is mirror it around the top of this and just clean up that intersection. So I've got a closed sketch that I can now make the fault with. If I set the extrusion to about 20 and I say OK, I'm ready to look at my model. So looking at it like this, what I've got is the that portion of my ceiling. If I go back to my plan view, I'm going to take that and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to revolve it by 90 degrees. And I'm going to move the ends back onto the grid. Uh, in this direction, so that I've now got intersecting. Oops, let me just make sure I didn't do that correctly. There we go. So if I look at this now in 3D, what I've got is something that looks like this, where it there are these two uh, objects and they're intersecting. And what I want to be able to do is to take away from this part of the roof, I want to take away a void that is the shape of the underside of the the ceiling that's at right angles to it. So if I select that part of my roof and say edit in place, so I'm editing the object. Not quite sure why it jumped back there. Let me uh, let me adjust the edges to make sure it's it's where I want it to be. Okay, let me go back to my south view. So what I wanted to do was I'm editing and I want to create I'm editing this ceiling but I want to take away the inside shape of the ceiling that crosses it. So if I go back to my create a void form by extrusion I'm going to pick the inside of the this part. I'll uh, draw extra lines down here just to extend it down. And trim that up. So I've actually got a void shape like this that now cuts through the model. If I say finish model and I look at it in 3D, I cut away the void here. So I want to repeat that for the other side of the model. So with this selected, and I'm looking from say the east, I can say that I want to edit in place. And what I want to do is create a void form that is an extrusion. That was my grid 4, just to make sure I'm drawing in the right place. 
I'll use the pick lines, pick the underside, I'll extend those down a bit just to make sure. And I've got it set to 20. Okay, now if I finish the model and I look at this in 3D, I should have my roof.